All right, so today I'm going to share with you how I set up my HUD within minutes. Um, this is probably my biggest, I guess if you want to call it a hack or a trick or a cheat or whatever. Either way, this saves me so much time. So just a heads up, um, I've already prepared everything. I have my HUD created here, my shirt's ready to go. I've cut off a lot of prepared time uh, so that we could just save time and we could get right to the magic of this. So the first thing that helps me with this is having a script that gives me all of my UUIDs in alphanumerical order. I asked my friend Albion to script this for me and uh, after speaking with him, we've agreed that I'm going to share it with you guys. So uh, thanks again, big shout out to Albion. Uh, so anyways, this little box right here, what it does is it extracts all your UUIDs from every texture you have in here. Keep in mind, I do believe that these need to be full perm for this to work. I'm not sure, but just make sure that they are. So anyways, I put them all in here, everything that I want in the exact order of how I'm going to want it on my HUD. This is very important to save time. So now all you do is just click this and it gives you all of that information. So what I'm gonna do next, I'm going to copy all of this and I'm gonna throw it into a notepad. Now, most people would just go here and we would just delete one at a time, but you know, this is all about saving time and we don't have time for that. So we're going to file, save as, and we're just gonna save it as import textures UUIDs. Now the fun comes. We go over to Google where I've made this handy dandy spreadsheet and we're gonna import all our UUIDs here. First of all, when you get to this link, which I will share, Come up here, hit file and make a copy so that you have your own version that you can edit. But now we're gonna go down to import your UUIDs here, file, import, upload, and we're going to select that text file. Now we're gonna change this to replace current sheet and we'll allow it to detect automatically and click import data. Now you'll notice that we have all of our UUIDs right here. So all I'm going to do is hit control C or you could just right click and click copy as well. And then I'm going to come over here where I've previously set up everything I need and I'm just going to paste it in there. Done. Now I'm going to take all this. We're going to copy it. We're going to go back to Second Life and I'm going to open up my script that I use and I'm going to paste all that information here and I'm going to click save. Let it save. Make sure that we have no errors. Good. No errors. And now we're going to use our HUD done. So it's important to note that it's going to be different depending on what HUD system you use. I've only showed you an example based on what I use for mine. Um, depending on if you use Bosch or PXL or you even have your own custom HUD script, it's going to change the formula that you put up here. Um, if you're savvy and you can kind of figure these things out, then by all means, edit this area if you're comfortable. If you're not comfortable, um, we all know I'm very busy as is everybody, but I'm willing to help you set this up if you need to. For me and my system, this is the syntax I use. For you, you might need you know, different commas in different places or you, know, you might not even need all of this information. So just let me know if you need some help, send me what your format is that you need whether you post it in a script or a note card, and I'll try to help you set up something custom for you. Anyways, I hope that this helped you, and have a good day.